we're going to check a Hino ABS code. There's an ABS light on and the dash. So you connect it to the 9 pin connector up here. This is the OBD connector down here. There's also a diagnostic button that you can press and get flash codes from. But I've never done that because I'm a little lazy and I have the computer. So you see the ABS light on and the cluster. So you see it's saying there's an existing code here. So you go in display and pull up fault codes. So right rear sensor air gap too large, left rear or left front sensor air gap too large. So here's the left front ABS sensor. And what happened with these a lot of times, I consider this like a maintenance. Every time you do a PM, a preventive maintenance, or maybe every two, maybe every four months, you adjust this. What happens is that the gap, this vibrate out. Sometimes it need changing, but even when you change the, the clip that hold it in, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So you just get something, just wiggle it around. It's really not in there very tight when you push it in. Push it in until it reach, until it touch, you'd feel it. Right? And then you take it for a road test. But <clears throat> what can happen? Let me see. I'm trying to get you a. You see the the tone ring or the exciter ring? Right there. You see there's some corrosion buildup, you know, from the salt. So Sometimes you have to clean those. So what you can do, you can jack up the wheel and put like a like a, a pry bar and spin the wheel on the pry bar. I'll try to do that to show you. So this is what I would do. I would stick the pry bar in there, wedge it with my hand. difficult to do this and you turn the wheel all the way around several times if you have someone if you have someone holding spinning the wheel for you that would be perfect I don't have anyone here right now but you put the pry bar in there you press it against the tone ring or the exciter ring and you turn the wheel to clean it up. If sensor is on the back part of the wheel. What I would what I usually do, I would go around to all four of them and clean them up and push them back in. And here's the right rear sensor. You can see it's it's not protruding that much but it's the same thing. These just wiggle it to loosen it up. You gotta be careful that you don't break it. And you push it in. You can clean up the tone ring the same way. You put your pry bar in here. Wedge it against the tone ring, you jack up the wheel, and you turn the wheel. If you come here and the gap is good, you can check your ABS sensor. Check the wire, especially areas like this, or if it's touching somewhere on the chassis. I've seen that a lot. Sometimes and you can check the ohm. You unplug it up here. 
you unplug it and you just check the ohms and also you could check a voltage reading on this so I'm going to simulate the wheel spin with the AC voltage you put your multimeter in AC it says AC here look for the single sine wave it's just two wires and look at what happens when you run this over you, if you just stick it there you see the just move it back and forth. But this is what would happen with the tone ring. The faster you spin the wheel, the higher the voltage go. So that is that is just a simulation. Like if you're spinning the wheel, just imagine this is the exciter ring. And this would be passing over that, you know, over and over and over. So once you get in that, then you know, well, okay, the, the ABS sensor is okay. Now, you, know, you check for broken wire. If it's, if it's not broken like this, where is it? This one was broken here. I just put a, I just join the back, solder it back and tape it up. You, know, you can do that if it's broken. Sometimes what happened is rubbing on the wheel or the chassis. Uh, you check your, your resistance you see the resistance in this one is 1.1 kilo ohms I think that is within specs I'll double check so the ohm reading is between 700 and 3000 ohms so this is within specs so we already clean up all the exciter rings and adjust the ABS sensor now we're gonna road test it. We have to get the speed over five miles per hour, between three to five miles per hour. So here we go. See, code, the code is gone. As soon as they get over five miles per hour, then you know the light is gone, and you should be good for a while. Like I said. Every 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 four to six months you should adjust the sensors.